a tēnā tata katoa ko moana tēnā i mihi kawana ki a tātou. Um, so, yeah, just here to share about our Sunday night session, um, Ka Hau Te Ao 12-week online e-commerce training program. Um, our amazing belief changer this week was Inez White. Um, you know, I had thought about doing this this video and what I was going to say about Inez, but um, in terms of all the things that she's done and all of that kind of stuff, I think you guys can find that out really easily. Um, you know, she has a Facebook um, page that's called Indigenuity um, with Inez, and I really recommend that you go on and have a look, and that will give you a sense of some of the amazing um, things that she does. Um, yeah, just her life story was is just amazing overall, and how she has really... Um, come back through some through some really challenging and tough times um, and just her whole mindset and way of looking at life um, through those tough times actually and where it's brought her to on this side so yeah as I said um, if you want to know about you know like some of the things that she's done in the past and all of that kind of stuff I'm sure you can find it out really easily but um, for the purposes of you know like having to share about um, some of the quarter that we had uh, with her I just really wanted to um, to share with you guys some of the learnings that I got from her quarter because you know she talked about lots of different things about the different kind of income streams that she's that she's worked on the different um like jobs that she's had over the years and all of that kind of stuff um but some of the real learnings that I got from this the talk that Inez shared with us were things like um to be aware of opportunities keep an open mind and an open heart you know as um a valuer she came upon that really um, by accident and almost as a matter of having to do something. Um, yeah, and that pretty much um, changed, I'll say changed the trajectory of her life. Um, right, another one was that you're never too old, never too downtrodden, uh, never too broke, never too anything um, to learn. You know, that she went on and um, despite some of the challenges that she did have, she learned the things um, that she needed to learn in order to go down a path that um, for her she knew would take her in a different direction. So that was really, really cool. Um, another learning, recognise your levels of fatigue and do something about it. Yeah, change your course, take a breath, stop if you have to. Um, yeah, she talked about how, you know, like one part in her life, she actually had to take quite a big break from any kind of social media or anything like that just because she was totally in fatigue. Um, yeah, so that was a good piece of advice to, um, to give a, because, I mean, we often just want to keep going and keep going and keep going. Um, really good one was not to rely on one source of income. And, you know, with the COVID times that we're now in, I, I'm more aware of um, the fact that, you know, nine to five is not going to be our um, go to um, into the future. And who knows for how much longer, actually. So you're yeah, not to rely on one source of income. I think Anise was saying that, you know, she's got something like four or five side hustles um, that bring in, um, you know, a little bit of money each week. But collectively she does pretty well off them so yeah no that's that was an amazing piece of advice um that great ideas come from great problems that often when we're at our darkest um you know we have a facado might pop into our head if you've ever heard mark At uh, mark Corpua talking about mahia atua and he'll talk about um the stories to do with hinatore you know, Hinatore is a kupu that has been linked to potential because Hinatore was like a, this little tiny, tiny speckle of light in the darkness that um, the Atua experienced when their parents, Rangi and Papa, were, were still joined. So, yeah, that was, you know, just something really, really tiny that came from a huge challenge that was theirs, that was theirs. Um, C's get degrees. 
<laughs> Wish I'd have known that earlier. But actually, I think I, that's how I got my degree too. C's get degrees. Don't try to be perfect. Just to get it done. Yeah, and that's pretty cool, eh? That, you know, it's not about um, always trying to strive for the A's or the absolute pinnacle of, you know, whatever that particular thing looks like as perfection. But um, just to getting it, just to get it done is a really big deal. Yeah, so I think that's enough for from me for tonight. Just really wanted to touch on those learnings again, um, and I think that's something I might do going forward. Just pull some of those through a bit more um, to share with you here. Um, that's me for um, our Sunday session, although it is Monday. Um, but tēnā koutou katoa. Have a good week, whānau.